What's up, homies? So, now we have a reverse grip scalpel. This is kind of like your V1 prototype. It's only gonna come with Coyote Brown and the Carbon Black. Actually, the V3 models that I'm moving on to next. So this is the V3 scalpel. Basically, what it has is added shoulders there to kind of further standardize the design. And they'll be full price. Um, but while we're still on V2, this is going to be like market entry level prices. So 49 euros each. I don't know what that is in dollars. But I'm leaning towards this color combination where we got the carbon black sheath and the coyote brown um, handle in the in the scalpel. And of course, it's a, it's a neck knife. <laughs> so... Voila. Isn't that sick? It's pretty awesome. A lot of people have been asking for something like this now, like for, you know, months. People have wanted some kind of reverse grip uh, scalpel. Granted, it's not exact. It's more like a Warncliffe. Uh, it's more like a Warncliffe box cutter style blade on a reverse grip. Uh, what's nice is that because the grip kind of goes up like this. It actually makes sense for this type of cutting. It makes a lot of sense, so it works quite well. And uh, one of my goals for really the next coming two years or so is to kind of just focus on the Picol mostly and just get variations of the Picol and get many like uh, other companies to actually produce it too. I went to Iwa and talked with a bunch of companies and a lot of people were interested in that. Uh, it's a great design. It's super awesome. It's my favorite design. I carry mine everywhere. It's so easy to carry because you can just, you can slip it in a pocket or you can still have it under your t-shirt, right? Let me just take my, this one off. You can have it under your t-shirt and it's really like barely noticeable. I got my work shirt on so you can barely make out. Yeah, there's something kind of sticking out of there. Um, but you can, it's very difficult to notice that there's something there, even if you're just wearing a t-shirt. If you put a necklace on or something over that, it's even more incognito. Um, so, and it's so light, being like 20, 30 grams or something like that, the whole package, you kind of, you, you just, you don't realize it's there. You know it's there, but you don't, you know, at the same time, it's so light, there's no strain on your neck or anything like that. And because it's so low profile, it doesn't like stick out. A lot of neck knives are just way too big even the smallest ones are often way too big and so but yeah this is what we're talking about today this is like your warren clef uh box cutter reverse grip uh the picol version which is picol is basically like this right hold on this is your picol right with a blade like that and uh that it'll be a while before we get there it's gonna be probably you know, several months, maybe a year, because, well, it costs like a couple thousand dollars to get that up and running. Uh, the, you know, you got to buy the steel, you got to buy the, you got to get the, all the blades cut. You, and there's also the CAD, and then, the, so, so there's, there's the CAD design, there's ordering the steel, then there's cutting the steel, and there's the heat treating of the steel. Uh, and then, so all that. Before and then of course in order to do the the picals, I need to I can't actually do it on the belt grinders that I have because I'm doing Scandi grinds Like zero grinds. Uh, I need to get myself a contact wheel. That's very very big and those cost also like eight hundred dollars eight hundred euros with the shipping and everything so the entire cost of doing that is going to be very expensive to start off So I need to get more sales. I need to kind of stick with what I got plus These just arrived. They haven't been shipped off to heat treating there's 200 of the v3 coming up but they're, they're that's basically a final design that's basically uh uh completed so it's going to be full price anyway um this you know 50 euro each for these is is very very low and barely making any money off of these but it's you know it's fun to kind of get them out spread out everybody owns one all over the world you know they're in hawaii africa whatever so now that there's like 50 or 60 left of the V2, I'm going to start experimenting with more different types of things, or at least uh, make these for now and uh, fill up, finish the orders for what's uh, the, for the V2s.
and then start working on the V3 and moving over to the V3. And then, of course, uh, the the this uh, reverse grip, which is fantastic. I think it's awesome. It's very nasty. Uh, so, yeah, guys, that's it for today. And then, of course, I think it looks great in this color combination. I think that's really, really beautiful. So that's it for today, guys. You can support my work. You can go by yourself. You can order yourself one of these reverse grip Warren Cliff box cutter style blades, scalpels from my website or Etsy. And the same goes with the regular uh, scalpels. So we got now two blade options. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys later.